All right, guys, so we are inside. I've got an incubator here, which is the um, farm innovators that I got from Atwood. And I'm actually borrowing this from somebody. And we actually have three out of four eggs hatch from my quail eggs. And so, and so right here, I have collected some eggs over the past seven days. And what I'm going to do is I've got 12 in here. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna put them in the brooder down here below. Take these eggs, put them in there just because there's not as many slots for all of these eggs. I'm gonna take these eggs. We're gonna put them in here. Any leftover space, we're going to put chicken eggs. So let's do that process. All right, so here is the setup I have. I've got the quail feed and so a cool thing about quail is you don't got to get any special feed for them that's different from when they're adults so you just get the wild game bird feed and they eat that from day one i like the crumbles because babies can eat that and so can the adults and it's something that's already ground up so you don't have to grind up pellets so if you have the option to get the little um, crumbles, get the crumbles. So there's the feed. And then uh, right here we've got the water. We're gonna fill it up and then put the bottom on it. And then I'm gonna hurry up and add the pebbles in here. So I just get enough to cover most of the bottom. And so this is my free hack to keep my quails from getting in here, my baby quails to get in here and drown. Um, Cause they like to get inside there and because they're so little in, the, in these chicken feeders, um, they'll just drown because one jumps on their back and then they just die from there. So when I do this, I put the food closer to the light and I put the water furthest away from the light on the, in the brooder. And the only reason I do that is because I don't want the water to evaporate as fast. It's not going to make too much of a difference, honestly, but that's just something I'm doing. So now we're gonna get the quail and we're gonna put them in there. All right, so we got the quail and this is actually the Nurture Right 360. It's a really good one. The thing I like most about it is you can see what's going on inside there. So I just try not to let the quail run around, but look how beautiful those little guys are. Really small. They're really, they're really frisky. They like to just go wild. So put them in there. Get this other one out. So I'm going to take the, I had these two eggs that didn't get fertilized, but they were in there. And then I got this guy. Um, oh, wow. He's actually pipping. I'm going to put him. I'll show you real quick. Look, he's pipping. But I'm going to put him up in here really quick. Because if you um, leave them out for too long where there's not humidity, they will. Uh, let me show you right here. So inside the egg, it has this membrane right here. It, it will shrink wrap if they get too dry. So that's pretty cool. We got a four out of four coming out of here. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna plug this back up over here so heat can start rolling around. And we're gonna hurry up and I'm gonna put these quail 
eggs that are in here. Alright, so we got all the eggs in here. And then I've got one in here that's going to pip here soon. Um, or it's going to hatch out here today. Alrighty, so we're going to put these and when I do the incubator or the eggs, I put them in there with a the pointy side down. And another tip that I do is every single day I will collect eggs and I'll add them to my bunch and I'll show you as soon as I get these eggs in here so let's say on day one I get three eggs I put three eggs in there then on day two I get three more eggs I will set it upside down so I've got the six eggs and then on the third day let's say I get six eggs then I will flip it over so every other day I am rotating these eggs it, um, it helps keep the eggs fresh longer It's crazy because I haven't had chicken eggs be laying for about two months now. And they feel so big and heavy compared to a quail. Because that's all I've been getting. I'm going to move these ones over here. Just so they're not bumping. It's pretty, I'm going to put this one in here because it's lower. So yeah, that's the setup for this week. So, I'm going to set the days on here. So here's what I'm doing. I'm setting it for 18 days, which is the quail. And the reason why is because if anything starts pipping a day early, the turner will stop and then I'll be able to pull the eggs out and put them in lockdown. So let's set this back up on the shelf. So all I gotta do now is add humidity to the incubator. And you might be asking why I have these little markers. And that's only because the front part of this shelf sits higher right here on these brackets. And so I just put those in the back to help offset it. And so since the quail, so for the quail, I put, so on the quail, they need a little bit more humidity and it's not going to affect the chicken egg at all and so i put it on both sides like that so there's side two 
and I lost the little plug, so I just duct taped it. And that keeps the humidity to stay in there and not escape. So side one over here, side two. And I just fill it up with a few squirts. And then I grab my duct tape. And I cover the hole. So all I gotta do, set a calendar um, alert in my phone for 15 and 18 days. I usually just do the 15 days, put them in lockdown, and then I just wait till I start hearing chirping. And then I get a second incubator or a second brooder right next to this one. So if this is your first time watching, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're been following me for a while, go ahead and comment below. Hit the like button and please share this if you could. Thank you guys for watching.